Hi guys, this is Ziki Swayce has been labelled as the perfect eco wagon for two reasons. Number one, the 1.8 litre hybrid and number two, the fact it is an estate car. So here are the five things I love and hate about the Suzuki Swayce. Starting off with the things I love and win number one, it's going to be the looks, especially at the front. I think it's actually got quite an aggressive styling thanks to the squinted lights. Now for a wagon, although it has the practical looks, I still think it looks great. It's dynamic and refreshed styling with our precious silver pearl colour. Now we have 16 inch alloy wheels giving the Swayze a clean finish. Who said estate cars can't look stylish? And number two is going to be the practicality. With a 595 litre boot and the room to put your seats down, you can literally fit anything in this. And as we come into the rear seats, as you can see, five adults would actually fit quite comfortably. So plenty of room for a small family. In the front as well is super, super comfy. I mean, you've got Apple CarPlay, you've got wireless chargers, everything you need to make the road trip that little bit easier. You also get an upgraded digital and multimedia features compared to the previous model, plus your different driving modes and an EV mode. Number three is going to be the efficiency. Now, Suzuki State, a combined MPG of 62.7. On the motorway, we saw a whopping 60, so pretty accurate. And a whole tank of fuel saw is about 400 miles of predominantly motorway driving. So efficiency is definitely got to be there on one of the things I love. Number four is going to be just how easy the Swayze is to drive. You can really just sit back and relax with this car. Now the hybrid system is doing exactly what it should be doing. It's quiet, it's smooth. The transition between electric, hybrid and petrol is just effortless for it, even with the CVT gearbox. The EV mode, especially in residential areas or around town, is a godsend. You've then got all your driving aids, so things like blind spot assist, cruise control, speed limit display, everything that you need to, again, help you sit back and relax and just chill whilst you're driving. But when it comes to the actual driving of the car, it handles really well. I absolutely love estate cars. I actually think they handle pretty well when they've been built properly, and the Swayze is no exception. You can build up a bit of speed, take those B roads that without having to hold back like you might have to in a bigger car. It just drives fantastic. Number five is going to have to be the fact there's so many uses for this car, whether it's a road trip, you're moving house, you need to get the dog in the bag. It's that practical. They literally have your back covered for everything. But what about the things I don't like so much? Number one is gonna be the fact I wish it did have a little bit more power, especially compared to its bigger brother, the Suzuki Across. Now, the 1.8 litre petrol is only giving us 97 brake horsepower, combined 140 with the EV battery as well. But it just needs that little bit more punch when you're trying to overtake. Number two is going to be the USB connections or the lack of standard USBs. Now, for someone like myself, all my iPhone charging cables are a standard USB and not a USB-C connection, which means for a car like this, I'm going to have to buy a different cable. Number three is that the car just feels a little bit louder under that hard acceleration when the CVT is working hard the petrol engine is fully kicking in it just takes away from the serenity of an EV hybrid now just listen to this you can just hear it working and because there are no real gears you can hear it going and going and going now when you've got your music on and everything like that it is not bad at all I have to come up with five things somehow don't I Number four, it's going to be a weird box that's under the passenger seat. Now like this, it isn't too bad, but as soon as you pull the chair back, you've got this little bit of space that you can't quite get your feet on comfortably. What is that actually for though? And last but not least, number five, is this has actually been the perfect addition to the driveway. From our road trip to London, Goodwood Festival of Speed, the Suzuki's ways has just taken everything in its stride and been the perfect car for it all. So with that, I'm going to leave it there, but you guys know the drill. To make my journey your journey, like, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.